Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Virgo. I hope you guys are all doing great. Sending all of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading and it will not resonate with every Virgo and it will not resonate with every Virgo cross watcher. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But if you have someone rising or Venus placements in Virgo or you are dealing with someone that does have those birth chart placements, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. Personal readings are open. There is a link in the description box to schedule. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. So guys, I just saw that the against time card. So somebody feels like they need to hurry up and do something or they feel like they're on thin ice with you. Somebody feels like they, they need to rush towards you or that they have limited time to do something. Okay, so let's see here. Channel message, channel message. It says, I like all the attention you give me. I can't get enough of you. I would do anything for you. Don't break my heart because it's been broken before. And it took me a long time to come out of my shell to trust someone again. I want you all to myself. Oh, Lord. I would die for you. What is, who is this person? <laughs> who is this person that you guys have, um... Oh my gosh, I would die for you. You are important to me. I am so happy that you were in my life and you have taught me how to love myself and better express love for others. You have you make me a better person and I don't ever want to lose you. You are my most special connection. Well, the first card that I saw was somebody feeling like they have to hurry up and do something or that they're running out of time. So I'm getting that the vibe that this is somebody that you are in separation with that isn't letting you go or doesn't want to let you go. It says... I have a checkered past. I have not been completely honest with you about all the things I've done. And I am ashamed of myself. I don't like to talk about it. So please stop asking until I am ready to talk about it. I am worried you will judge me. Hmm. So they they're, they seem head over heels for you, but there's some type of butt here. What is the problem? Oh, I know I owe you an apology for all the times I have acted cold towards you. Oh, so they've been trying to play it off like they don't have these deep feelings and emotions for you, like they're not head over heels, but they actually are. It says, all the times I acted cold towards you and didn't make you a priority. I don't know how to say I am sorry without fearing an argument. So I avoid it even though it makes it worse. I am not perfect. I am trying to do better. Mm. Yeah, you have a commitment phobe, a commitment phobe here as well. All right, so let's get dive into this deeper and see what's going on. So we have mixed feelings. Somebody has like become very sure about you and I don't really know why. Maybe it's because they, they were conflicted but now they're not able to move on from you and they're sad. Yeah, they're, they're, they're watching you. They're stalking you. They're still holding on to you. So this is somebody that you guys are in no contact with and you guys may have no idea that this person has not let you go. They watch you. They keep tabs on you. They play games with you at some point or something but I feel like this person feels like you may be leaving them behind. Hmm. They don't really know how to approach you just yet. 333 three, three on the camera when I said that. Knight of Swords in reverse, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. They didn't want to rush into anything with you or they didn't want to do something without thinking it through. Or it's like this person was not placing a whole lot of focus on you. I feel like they've been, they want to talk to you, but they're not so quick to do it. I definitely feel like this person was focused on other things. I don't know. You guys, mm, tell me about hardest. Okay. Well, if they didn't have clarity about something, they're getting clarity, like, since you guys have been in separation. So they're realizing that they love you and that they do, you are special to them, that th there's something different about this connection with you because they're unable to move on from you. And they're actually sad and suffering and grieving now that you guys are in separation. It's giving them a lot of clarity. 
since the breakup. The breakup or the ending has given them a lot of clarity about you. But I definitely feel like this was somebody that wasn't prioritizing you at the, at the time. So tell me about secretly stalking. They watch you. They keep tabs on you. Yeah, they see you very abundant. They could see you like being a mom or a dad. But they, I, I feel like they see you like manifesting a lot of things for yourself. They see you looking very sexy, very attractive, nurturing, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Creating a lot of things or be, yeah, very abundant. Turn out Chaser. Yeah, they have, um, what is that about? What is Nine of Pentacles in reverse mean for this person? The, yeah, they have a big ego. They have low self-esteem and they have self-worth issues. I feel like they don't want anybody to know this and they didn't, definitely didn't want you to know this. Um, but that's why they were guarded because maybe this person didn't feel good enough for you. Why were they behaving this way? Knight of Cups. I don't know. I feel like it was because they had a big ego, but I see them coming towards you wanting to try to heal this or they want your forgiveness. What does this mean for Virgo? The Chariot, Cancer, Energy. We also, yeah, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Taurus. We have Aries. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And now we have Cancer here. So, I don't know. You guys may not want to... Um, yeah, you guys, I don't think you guys want to. I feel like you guys are just trying to like free yourself from this. You don't see this being like a happy ending with this person or something. You feel like they're too unstable. You feel like they're a player. You feel like they're impulsive. Maybe you also don't trust this person's motives. Tell me more about what's the pro what does Virgo feel yeah, it's like you're maybe not going to know what to do, whether to make up, make amends with this person or for some of you, you may not know if you want to make amends with this person because you are aware that they're going through some type of poverty or financial issues. Or you guys think it's weird that now that, you know, you're trying to move on and let this person go here, they come wanting to make amends. So I feel like you guys are questioning this person's motives or you guys are just kind of like maybe not interested or acting very like nonchalant, apathetic towards this person. Like, or you're going to take a minute before you decide. Um, and you're going to do what's best for you. I see that here as well. So I feel like you're not very optimistic. Like I see a lot of you guys deciding to maybe walk away from this person. Because you don't feel like you can trust them. You don't think that they're really going to work with you on something. But, or they're not going to be a good, they're not a good team player in relationships. Let's see, what's the problem here? Ooh, hold on, dropping the whole deck. Yeah, the spark is gone. Some of you guys don't want this person anymore, but they're afraid to lose you. This person that you guys may not even think about anymore. You're like, you're over them. You're moving on with your life. Here they come. And you're like, what? I don't even think about you anymore. You don't feel the same way for them like you used to or maybe you thought this person was over you and you moved on to and now here they come back but we have extra protection there's extra protection around you at this time you are not alone we have cleared the air a lot was left unsa unsaid they can no longer hide the way that they feel about you yeah and fear of rejection they fear your rejection is it too late are you over me will you forgive me yeah they're lonely this could be your twin that has awakened finally If there was any doubt there, your twin flame and they're ready for union. They have done the work and want to take a leap of faith for love. Yeah, but we have long. Maybe they would always try to come back to, to you because they love your attention. That was the first card that came out. They, they wanted your attention, but they didn't want to give anything to this. I feel like they maybe tried that with you. Tried to get your attention, but still not have anything committal with you. Not, you know, give you a real relationship. And I feel like you guys learned your lesson. And I feel like you guys moved. You're, you've been moving on from this person and we have true love. They realized they loved you after they lost you, not feeling very regretful. Tell me about last test. They maybe did try to come towards you with some type of hidden agenda. Yeah, they see your glow up, intrigued by this new you and feel you've moved on. Now they want you back. Yeah, they try to reel you back in when think, they think you're moving on. So can they trust this or no? Yeah, they've had some type of ego death. The journey wasn't easy. They're fully aware of their mistakes and want to make things right. And see, what about third party? Forgiveness. They're involved with somebody else who they feel obligated, but they want your forgiveness. 
Yeah, they still have some type of family issues. It could be they they could be still married. So what is how should um Virgo handle this? Maturity. Hmm. They want you to know they truly change and you inspired them to become a better person. To See, they're still coming back towards you at some point toxic. Mm. I, I'm so confused, spirit. They're coming towards them toxic, and then what's happening? Yeah, they're wanting they're wanting you're gonna want your forgiveness. And spirit is saying keep an open mind. They're going to come in and test the waters with you to see if you'll take them back. They've been watching you from a distance in the meantime. But they're wondering, like, dang, like, I haven't heard from Virgo in a long time. I thought that they would call me. They thought that they, I thought they would reach out to me. Now they feel that they're really losing you. So they're coming towards you and they're making a decision. If they had a third party, they're choosing you over that third party. Yeah, it says after much thought, they decided to be with you instead of their other options. So what does that mean going forward? What is it about the outside influences? Feel safe hiding. Desires freedom. This doesn't make sense, y'all. Family issues. Denial. Nothing else to do. So I don't know, y'all. This don't make sense. Driven by jealousy. Yeah, they don't want anybody else to have you. I, I feel like you guys are correct and feeling like you need to be cautious with this person because I don't feel like their intentions are very clear here. Why are, what are they why are they coming back? They want you to keep an open mind about them. They're coming back because they're afraid that they're losing you or that they have lost you. But as far as their motives, you're gonna have you're just gonna have a decision to make when this person comes back. It says trust your angels, too stubborn to change. I just feel like this person's gonna come back towards you and they still have not changed. But Spirit says that they're gonna force this person into change. And then what's happening? Friendship. They want to be friends first and take it slow to build a solid foundation. They need to go through a rebirth. But like after they go through this rebirth, they're gonna they think about a future with you. It says a future with you is all they think about. Expect some kind of commitment or serious offer. I don't know, y'all. So when then the next time they hear from this person, what do they need to know? Okay, so we have ego death. Their journey wasn't easy. They're fully aware of their mistakes and want to make things right. But one more. What, what else about that? What they should they know? Loneliness, okay. And haunted. Taking action. Hmm. Forbidden fruit. True love. Can they trust? I don't know if they can they trust this person. Can they trust them now? Uh, it says not the right time. They're still not ready. I feel like they have like realized that they were wrong. They see where they were wrong. But I still feel like it's not the right time for union. They're going to try to fix this with you. But Spirit is saying that it's not the right time. And they still have some type of other situation in the mix. But they know what they did you dirty or they know that they did you wrong. They know that they're not able to move on from you. They know all those things. They want to tell you the truth. They feel like they owe you the truth, but I don't feel like this person. Um, is ready for a union. I'm going to be honest with you. So this could be a closure situation or this could just be them trying to test the waters and see if you'll take them back. And But I don't think that they're going to be able to provide you. They still have a lot of growing and changing and evolving and realizing to do. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, we have not worth waiting for. Waiting to live life is not worth it. Wasting time on hold, missing out. There will never be a better time. Tell me more. June. Yeah. We're in the month of June. It says, unorthodox thinking leads the way. Pride, unconventional, different. Follow the road, less traveled. And we have Capricorn season. Hard work will pay off. Discipline, strategic, rigid, tenacity. Weigh the pros and cons. So they're coming back towards you and they still are in some type of hot mess situation. For some of you, they may be asking you to wait on them while they get other things situated out. You know, situated out. Situated in their life. And Spirit says, you're going to have to weigh the pros and cons of that. What does that mean for this person? Yeah, because it says it will take a while. 
Keep a good attitude while waiting. Make a decision when you feel your best. Gradual dragging creepy. Yeah. It's going to take them a while to what? What's going to take a while? I don't know. We have July though. What are, what's going to take a while? Unexpectedly. Right. There's some type of wish fulfillment coming in with you out of nowhere. What is, what's this mean for, yeah, any day now? What does this mean for this person? Not in this lifetime. Opposite of what is expected. Faster than you think. Time has run out. It's something about this person coming in to try to get your, just wanting your attention, wanting to pretty much use you, right? This is something that they've probably done a bunch of times and maybe you would normally give them attention. You would entertain them. I don't think you're doing it this time. Something that's going to happen that's the opposite of what they expect. And then it's going to make them feel that they have to hurry up and do something. They feel that their time has run out. It's making them think that you've maybe found something better. And then, yeah, some type of positive changes are coming. It says summertime, positive changes, freedom, joy, good times, warmth, do what makes you happy. And it says worth waiting for. All good things take time, promise, potential, incubation. Analyze, learn, and prepare first. So that's what's about to happen. You, you, you're going to be hearing from this person any day now, but I don't think they will have changed because they don't think that they have any reason to change. Okay. But you've changed or hopefully you have changed. You know what I mean? And you're not going to accept what you used to accept. And if you do that, look at this. This just showed itself to me. Six months from now, your commitment will be rewarded. Bonds, union, partner, engaged. And we have very last minute. A choice will be made. Taking a risk, gamble, roll with it. Taking a leap of faith into the unknown. So, Yeah. That's what's probably triggering that ego death. That ego death card kept coming out. It's them coming in and thinking that, you know, they can still have access to you, that you'll give them attention when they want your attention and they can come in and out when they want to. And they're going to realize that that's not the case. We have home. It says your home tells your story. It's the foundation of your life. Bless your home to bring more peace, love, and light. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo. We have freedom. Without freedom, there is no creation. Let your spirit take flight. And we have crowning. You're being initiated right now. Let go of who you were and embrace the mystery of who you have yet to become. And we have inner child. Connect with your inner child and listen to what your child self has to say as you move forward on your journey. And we have wait. Don't feel rushed to make a decision right now. Spend time alone meditating upon what truly makes you happy. Yeah, I feel like that's what's going to happen when this person comes back. Normally, you would maybe rush back into something with this person. You're not going to do it. You're going to really take some time to think it through and maybe even reject this person. And they're not expecting that. But that's what you need to do. All right. Tell me one more card about weight. Yeah, we have build a new. It says don't kill yourself trying to fix what is beyond repair. This is your chance to build something different. And some of you guys are going to cuss this person out or give them a piece of your mind. It says, be conscious not to hold in any stress, anger, or anxieties. Reconnect with your spirit and let it all out. You're going to give this person a piece of your mind. You know what they say is like, if you're starting to get angry about how somebody treated you, that's a good sign that you are healing. And it says healing. You've been initiated. You've been through a difficult initiation, which has prepared you for the role of a healer. Don't doubt your power. All right. So this is what I have for you. I hope that this reading resonated with you. Thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you could take something from this reading. Personal readings are open. There is a link in the description box to schedule. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.